I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a scratch pad in Reaper. Now the concept of a scratch pad is creating an area in our project and we can just try out some ideas. I have a project in front of me here and let's hear what we have. So as we can tell, right over here, we have a break, then a verse, and a chorus. So for example, let's say we wanted to try out some different ideas on the verse. We could do that with a scratch pad by moving everything over here over, treating this area as a scratch pad, and then moving it all back afterwards. So we'll start out by creating the area we want to use as a scratch pad. I'm going to select from bar 33 to 37. Make sure I turn on my grid and snapping, drag from here in the timeline to create a time selection of exactly four bars. Then I'm going to right click in the ruler and choose insert empty space in selection. And if we choose that, it creates an empty space right here and moves everything else over. Before it looked like this and after it looks like this. So we have four bars of empty space to work with. Now we could just start completely from scratch and just create a different part. Or we could copy things from other sections. Let's say I want to try a different drum part for the verse. I could copy everything over from here, Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and just right click drag to create a razor edit of that section. And we could copy over everything and paste it here, or duplicate it, control on the PC, command on the Mac, and drag it to here. And now we have the bass, pads, and vocals from the verse in our scratch pad. And it sounds like this. Up like a radio, 10 out of 10, that's my baby, yo. Knows how to make me go crazy, yo. Hey, I can never get enough, bit up like a radio. So I could try out a different drum part for the verse. But let's leave off the vocals as I don't really need them for this. Let's clear the razor edits and now hear my section. So we'll put down a different drum part for this section. This section in our scratch pad. I'm going to create an empty item. Control on the PC, Command on the Mac, and just draw it in. And we're going to record into this. I'm going to put my track into record, and it's already set up for MIDI. But I'm also going to change my recording mode to record MIDI overdub right here. This way we can record multiple passes into this MIDI item. So let's try playing a different kick and snare or kick and clap part. Go into record and perform it. Let's overdub a hi hat part on top. Now we can hear what we had before by playing over here.
I think I prefer the new part. Let's hear it with the vocal. Yeah, she turned it up like a radio. Ten out of ten, that's my baby, yo. Knows how to make me go crazy, yo. Yeah, I can never get enough, bitch. So if we like this part better, we could delete this one and move this one over here. And now, just delete our scratch pad. Select from here to here. Right click up here, and this time we're going to choose Remove Contents of Selection, Moving Later Items Earlier. Choose that, and it puts the parts that were over here earlier. Yeah, she turned it up like a radio. Ten out of ten, that's my baby. Yo. And now it's all back to the way we started, except we swapped out this new drum part for the old one. So now it sounds like this. Yeah, she turn it up like a radio. Ten out of ten, that's my baby, yo. Knows how to make me go crazy, yo. Yeah, I can never get enough, baby. Feels like I know you go all my life when I'm with you. Nothing else matter, you know that. It's a pretty useful function or feature where we can create space in the middle of our project to try out different ideas and then just move it back and combine different parts as needed. So that's pretty much it. That's how to create a scratch pad in Reaper. Hope you learned something. Hope you could use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.